What's really good, posters? Welcome to another edition of The Hit List. I am MTV Malik. He is Tata Louder, and we're joined with a special guest today, Antonio, a.k.a. The Bananas Defender. What's really good, guys? So, I'm happy to be on here. It's going to be yeah. fun. You sure, as, you sure as hell pick one hell of a day to show up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, don't get me started, man. Like How ironic. I had a good hour to, like, you know, put my feelings in, trying to let it all out. But, you know, I'm happy to talk about it now. You feeling all right, though? Yeah, I'm good. I, yeah. I don't take this show seriously as other people do, so don't worry about me. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, you know who I'm talking about, so I'm not going to say names. The shoe fits, it fits. So He's we'll learning. <laughs> He's all right, growing. Now, with no further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this power ranking. All right. So, at number 26, newly eliminated, we have Johnny motherfucking Bananas. <laughs> Joining him in the basement is at 25, Esther, 24, Kaylee, 23, Turbo, 22, Idris, 21, Nani, 20, Nicole. So, let's go ahead and jump back in it. First person I want to touch, first person I want to touch on, <clears throat> Johnny motherfucking Bananas. Johnny Bananas <laughs> painted himself into a corner, and he done got fucked up for it. Um... Bananas, since you're here, let me ask you, was it fair for Johnny Bananas to get thrown in by Cara and Pauly? I mean, I understand Cara saying his name from, like, a little bit because, you know, whatever happened last week. But for Pauly to shake his hand, look him in the eye and say, yeah, don't worry about it. You're good. I would I would thought as a viewer watching this without knowing spoilers, like, you know what? Maybe Pauly's, like, Gonna keep bananas around. Maybe they'll work together, figure shit out. But you know, uh, Paulie took the knife out of his back pocket, and you know, uh, stabbed bananas. Well, it's not exactly like he hasn't done this before. He's actually kind of known for it at this point. Paulie or bananas? Paulie. Oh yeah, like last season, how he swore in his family and Natalie's family on the during the final with Joss and Sylvia. So yeah. I mean, knowing that knowledge, <laughs> I probably wouldn't have trusted him. But I mean, in this this point in the game, like your numbers are so small, you got to do something. All right. Tyler, how do you feel about that move that Cara made tonight? Um, it seems to be a trend. Um, I, you know, Team USA is wanting to blindside people right now, and uh, it makes sense. Uh, even though, like, there's this middle time that they've had a, you know, an alliance. If you go back in history, Johnny's always been mean to Cara. Cara obviously holds on to things, mm -hmm. and she released it right now. You know, she obviously had something in the past that she brought up now. And all she needed was, you know, him throwing a challenge for her to justify her reasons. Yeah, uh, but you know how far in the past that was, though? I oh, mean, no, I agree. I agree. But I'm saying she, she holds on to it. It was you less know what? than a year ago. We sent their flowers. Like, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> it was a nice gesture. I see it didn't, uh, it didn't, it didn't last very long. But let's go yeah. ahead and move into this basement. Uh, at your number 23 spot, you have Turbo still down in the basement. He got a little bit more camera time today. What's keeping him down in the basement? Tyler. I mean, are we witnessing a one-hit wonder on our hands right now? Like, here's, here's the thing with Turbo. If Turbo didn't have a, a fan base, if this was done like 15 years ago before Twitter, nobody would really care about Turbo as much. This following he has is building Turbo up for maybe something more than he is. Um, what he's got to do to get out of this basement is he's got to perform. Uh, this, there's somebody else on this list that's supposed to be a dominant competitor that she didn't do well either but and they're you know ninja is who i'm talking about and those two right there they have to do way better than they've been doing um speaking of just turbo alone his thing that has set him apart from everybody else is his funny one-liners because his english is so butchered um and the fact that he's a dominant competitor maybe long distance water as he said is his kryptonite you know so maybe he's just got to stay on land all right bananas do you feel like Turbo is in the right place at the number 23 spot? I mean, I think so. Just because, you know, he hasn't really done anything. He's pretty much done the poor minimum to help Team US win. We've seen it numerous times, especially even on uh, guy elimination days when you would think guys, you know, would like try their best to make sure they win to make sure they're safe. We've seen it with the, uh, it's pretty much back to back swimming challenges where Turbo really hasn't done anything. And honestly, his name should have been in the running tonight too, besides Johnny. Are you guys starting to get a feeling that we may have overrated Turbo a little bit? Tyler. 
I mean, it appears so. You know, he came out strong. He won his first season. Um, he did so in pretty good fashion, you know. And, and on his final win, he was being a supportive help to everybody in that competition, trying to make sure they were doing well, you know, didn't get lost when they were rowing the canoe and everything. And he still won. Uh, I, I think he has this following of being a huge uh, winner from Survivor twice. Then he wins his first show here. It's almost like this guy can't lose. But it's the challenge. And anybody can have a bad day. Anybody. We saw that in elimination. All right. Bananas. Is he overrated? I think I'm giving Turbo a lot of credit here. I think Turbo is the smartest guy to play this game. I think because he won last season, the best thing you want to do is lay low. And that's what that's exactly what he's doing. He's doing he's playing piss poor in all these challenges and no one's even mentioning his name. No one even like knows that he's there. So he's right now he's skating his way through Team US. He's playing the middle ground. And if he keeps it up, he could see himself seeing another final. And we've seen how he is in finals. If it's just like last season, he's going to dominate it, and he might win again. I agree with you 100%. The worst thing that Turbo could be doing is making a big spectacle of himself and putting a target on his back. Because all of these people who've been running around putting a target on their back is getting taken out week by week by week. Look at Wes. Look at Laurel. Look at Bananas. I don't think he's overrated right now. I think he's just playing the smart game. But let's go ahead and move on to the next person the baseball I want to talk about. Let's talk about Nicole. She got a little bit of camera time today. Um, Tyler, let us know why you got it down there at your number 23 spot. Well, if I'm sorry, anybody's been, number 20 spot. Yeah, you're good. Uh, if anybody's been following everything, she's been holding this whole challenge up from the bottom. She's been, you know, the level, play, level person here that's just on the basement, 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 underground. Today, uh, she swam really well considering the fact that she took an extra like 10 15 seconds to jump off the thing and still out swam Kara by i don't even know she out swam her by about it was like 30 seconds or something like that like yeah it was it was uh 34 seconds she out swam her by and so if you think if she would have jumped right away she would out swam Kara by almost a minute and that's huge for somebody that's been such a poor performer the past couple weeks she also got some camera time during the uh, the nomination ceremony where she pretty much told everybody to shut up and she doesn't want to deal with this drama, you know, um, she doesn't move up a lot, but she moves up a little bit due to her outstanding swimming ability. All right. Bananas. Did Nicole make any type of impression on you? I mean, I think she made a pretty good impression on me because as we've seen so far this season, about half the challenges are based around swimming and to come in at top three for team UK in this challenge. I mean, I think that's, pretty great so putting her in at number 20 i feel like it's a little too low i maybe i will give her a push towards the top 15 nothing more than that though i think 20 is going to be a perfect spot yeah. for her i think i think her friendships has been carrying her for a long way and at least she at least she showed up today for the challenge so i give her that let's go ahead and move into this mid card let's take a look all right at number 19 we have joss Number 18, Tori. Number 17, D. 16, Leroy. 15, Jenny. 14, Ashley. 13, the man, the myth, the legend, Josh. <laughs> At number 12, we have Ninja. Number 11, we have Cam. Before you jump into everything here, I want to say something. I'm not doing this on purpose. Leroy has been number 16 for three consecutive <laughs> weeks. I'm not doing it on purpose. It just is how the cards are falling. I just want to get that out there before we move forward. Shit, Honestly, the way he's looking, 16 might be, a little, might be a little high for him. So, before we jump into this, we definitely see the, the heat being turned up on Leroy. Because of the results of what happened tonight, Leroy already knows. Once Johnny goes, that's... It. <laughs> what do you have? It's, it's like two to three episodes, so so he know the clock is ticking. Uh, is the game plan still going to be the same for Leroy? So his ass is it going to be in a hot seat? I, I think so. Um, here's the one thing about Leroy: he's very likable, and maybe I'm being very bold here, but he's more likable when Bananas isn't around because people don't. And it's not saying that like Bananas is such a bad person, but I'm saying people focus so much on Bananas and his alliance that Leroy kind of gets dragged a little bit. But with no bananas there, Leroy is very popular. You know, he's got connections with Zach and, um, and Nani 
and a lot of other vets on here that he's played this game with. He's got to keep playing the same game, okay? Uh, I didn't, you know, I'm just going to say it. I'm his manager right now. This is <laughs> WWE style. I'm his manager, okay? If anybody right now needs to keep playing a good, consistent game, it's Leroy. He's got to get a championship, and I, I'm rooting for him right now. Uh, yeah, I always root for Leroy. He is very, very affable. Uh, his performance definitely has to hold up and needs to not make him a target. Bananas, what does your boy Leroy has to do to keep his ass out the hot seat? I think Leroy is in a great position, position right now. I think because his number one is gone, everyone's like, oh, where the hell is Leroy at? Because now Leroy joins the middle tier. Like, where the hell does he stand? Is he going to still rock with Nani Zach, or is he going to just hop over to Carl and Polly? That's I'm, not the right team to be on right now. Well, they're looking for numbers because they're looking for a way to dominate the game. So if I'm Leroy, he should continue playing that middle game because that's honestly the <clears> best thing to do in a big team game. Stay in the middle between two big alliances and ride your way to the final. If he can do that, he'll be fine. If not, he'll be packing his bags in. Yeah, Johnny Bananas could take that advice every once in a while. Oh, shut up. <laughs> 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 All right. Let's talk about your number 15 spot, Jenny. What did Jenny do this episode that got a smack dab right in the middle? Uh, well, Jenny is one of our biggest risers of the week. Uh, she moves up nine spots. She was in the basement last week for the past two weeks, actually. Uh, Jenny dominated this challenge. Um, when we previewed our preseason rankings and everything, Jenny was a dark horse to look out for because of how physically dominating she can be. And today, she showed up. And that's what Team UK needs. They need their best physical assets to be good in the physical challenges. So that's what moves her up this week, is just being that much of a beast. I mean, she alone, her time was 348, was the fastest girl. But I mean, without even counting, I already look at my list. She was faster than like five, six guys that are supposed to be stronger than her and everything. So. All right. So she did show up for today's challenge and she did do pretty well. But so far, we haven't really seen much from her. Um, we haven't seen much from her politically. What does she need to do to make sure that she stays where she's at and only rises up? We were just talking about Leroy. It's the same game plan. I mean, over on Team UK, we got we got Team Jogan versus, you know, the Team Old old UK, essentially. I don't know a name for them, but Theo, Bear, <laughs> Georgia. I it's mean, like three months. How are they Kyle. Old UK? <laughs> I mean, they're the Old UK, but it, it is. But, the British Young Bucks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Please, God, no. <laughs> BYB, so... Um, but essentially she's in the middle ground right there. So let them attack each other, let them keep going at it. And as soon as their numbers start to, to like dwindle and everything, jump to the higher side where we've got more numbers, move over there. Like she's going to be really fine in this game. All right. Bananas. Did Jenny stand out to you at all? I mean, clearly she was the number one swimmer for the females. She should have been in the top 10. I feel like just solely for that reason, just because in episodes like this, even though they're 90 minutes long, you don't really have more than five people stand up per episode. You really have, you know, the, the usual stand out. And now that the big names are leaving, we really don't know who's going to stand out now. So I think that gives a perfect time for Jenny to climb the rankings because that's an even more camera time, especially since because I think she's the strongest female on Team UK right now. So that's going to help her big time. And everyone's going to want to be in our alliance. All right. So both Team US and Team UK – are really unraveling at a record pace. I mean, we've seen alliances and teams and different sides fall apart. And uh, Banana said it best. It's like they're in a race to do it and they're neck and neck. Um, Team UK has been losing a lot when it comes down to the dailies. But in the eliminations, they are holding their own. Uh, with Wes, Bananas, and Loru gone, I mean, yeah, these are enemies for Team US, but these are some of the best players that ever played the game. I mean, really, if you have a top 10 list, these three are probably going to be on it at some place. Mm -hmm. um, even though they're losing the dailies, is this going to be more momentum for Team UK? Tyler? Uh, yes and no. Um, so the reason why, yes, if we're just like, you know, I'm just a viewer. I just watch it, and then I wait till next week, and I watch it. I don't do anything else. Um, Team U.S. <laughs> lost one of their best players. So, theoretically, Team U.K. should be better. No, because I think Caro is completely right. I think Johnny Bananas was obviously working with some people on Team U.K. He had some seeds over there, you know. He's Everywhere. a very – he's he is one of the most influential people in this game. 
So the fact that he was able to work with Team UK people while throwing Wes under the bus still and everything just shows how brilliant he is in this game. So Team UK is losing that asset that was almost tearing USA apart from the inside. And they lost who wins a daily. It's always going to be one US versus one UK. And that's what it's going to be until one team says, you know what? Fuck it. We got to win this shit. Um, Team UK has a big issue with I don't know, like I said, with their rivalries, with inside their group. As soon as they can fix all that stuff, I think they're going to be just fine because I think some of the best athletes are on Team UK. Like, they're younger, they're hungrier. Like, honestly, I think team, like, if this stays a team game, I think Team UK is going to come out in the long run. I agree with you. I, I think just Team US is like a whole big mesh right now. They're, I mean, considering now their three biggest egos in the game, I feel like, are gone. Maybe they can work together, but it's it's a, it's a race to the sea who can be unity first. That's just gonna come down to like I just it sucks because like we all been wanting like team challenges for the longest time, mm-hmm. and I don't think anyone really wanted this format with this twist because like this whole twist is like just throwing everything off. Like I was dying for another cutthroat season. Give me like yeah. three teams where two winning team okay. picks, one from each. That would have been a great season because now I like to cut through. It was a great. chance <laughs> to throw your own team in. That changes everything. Switching teams by winning an elimination that changes everything. This is, I just want like a simple team format. Give me cutthroat to call it a day, but you know you x too much, you can't be greedy, right? So I just I just got a really good idea. Could you imagine? I mean, I'm this is slightly off topic, so I'm only gonna do it for like 10, 30, 10 to thirty seconds. Could you imagine cutthroat where it's team bananas? Team West and Team Jordan, like. Yeah. So Jesus. I made a tweet saying. You gotta put some ladies in there, though. You gotta put some ladies. But I'm saying no. those those are the egos, though. Those yeah. are the egos, and each of them can have their best female ally as co-captain. Like it would be great. Bro, season thirty-five, uh, the challenge: Civil War, Team Bananas versus Team West. Ooh, dude, man, there we go. Yeah. Hey. And you know what? And Bananas and West will be bounced out within three episodes. No, no, no. They're guaranteed <laughs> into the final. Yeah, the like coaches, right? Yeah, they don't compete. They don't go into eliminations, but they do compete in the final. We all know the challenge guys don't listen to us, so no, I know. Doesn't matter what nope. we want. Yeah, nope, they just... hear what we say and just laugh. Like, uh huh. They think they want that. No, nah, fuck you. <laughs> All right. Did we touch on Zach already at the number 10 spot? No, no we, so we We have not moved into the top tier yet. We're just waiting on you, my man. All right. Let's go ahead and take one last look on the power ranker and let's see the top tier. All right. So at number 10, we have Zach. Number nine, Rogan. Eight, Kyle. Seven, CT. Six, Jordan. Five, Kara. Four, Georgia. Three, Bear. Two, Theo. And at number one, we have motherfucking Pauly <sighs> Califiori. Bow, 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 bow. All oh, right, God. all right. Uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and just jump right to number five. Number five, you have Kara. Um, what? Like, she was in the tribunal. <laughs> she did amazing, just amazing in this daily. I think she, I think she was the second fastest girl. If I was looking at the times right, um, I don't really remember. No, she, she got, wasn't. She got Johnny fucking Two Bananas. Sticks. She got Johnny Bananas, the rotten banana, bounced out. She orchestrated this whole thing. Remember that little smirk she had at the end of the club when she broke down in front of Josh? If Paulie's number one, Cara gotta be number two. Her at number five is Trav- it's, it's, it's a travesty. Travesty. Explain yourself, Tyler. Number five. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Well, I'm always right, so this should be easy, right? All right. So, Ooh. so words. here's the thing. Kara last week, uh, she was number nine. So she moves into the top five this week because essentially everything that she wanted to happen this episode happened. Polly got control of the tribunal. Team USA won. She, Theo, I mean, even though she didn't really want this, Theo got thrown in from Team UK, which is her ally. That's one of the strongest guys on Team UK. If there's ever a time to throw in bananas, it's against Theo. And she got everything she wanted. You know, she she went, she's a little kid that sat on Santa's lap and had told him everything she wanted, and Santa delivered it for her. That's what happened this episode. Mm. Okay. And so that that's why she moves up to number five, but it's it's a jump. It's still a jump. She just can't leapfrog everybody because she was 
because her swim time was so poor for somebody that's been doing this for 10 years. But you got Georgia at number four. How is Georgia beating her out? Georgia had a better time. Yeah, exactly. and Georgia, Georgia came second overall. Carter Georgia, came sixth. So? Yeah. But well, your team still lost. So? But mm, not because so. of Georgia, though. Not because of Georgia. Not because of Georgia. Her team, technically, her team won. Her team didn't lose anyone. So, really, UK won this episode. So, like, yeah, they lost a challenge, but who did they lose? All right. Since you like speaking out of fucking turn so much, how do you feel about <laughs> how do you feel about Kara coming in at the number five spot hey, after, ba- always, after bouncing out your daddy? <laughs> I always speak out of turn because I don't know when to shut my fucking mouth. Um, honestly, I think five is too high. Really. Ooh. Ooh, bring it, bring it. Let's don't do try it. to confuse me with your logic. I mean, Explain yourself. No, like, <laughs> top 10, yes. Top 5, no. I think, like, 8 is a good spot for her. She, compared to the other swimming challenge, she did great. Oh, I mean, sorry. She did, like, terrible. She did great the first swimming challenge, and she did okay in this one. She came in the middle of the group. But for someone that's done the challenge so long, you know swimming is a big part. And I've been, I don't care who the hell you are. You're doing this challenge more than five seasons. You should be a pro swimmer. You should know swimming should be in your training every single day because six out of ten challenges revolve around swimming. Either that or heights. If if one of those two is your problem, you got to change that ASAP. Also, if you look in the past during this season, whoever made the big power moves were gone the week after. West. We saw him making power moves by making big alliances. Laurel went on because she threw West's name in. Bananas, gone for getting out West and for throwing the challenge. So if the season wants to continue on run its course, Kara's next and Paulie's after. Is that true? I don't know. We'll find out. Sure you don't. Now, those are some good points. <laughs> but this is the episode five Power Ranker. And in this episode, Kara bounced out Bananas. Kara got into Josh's head, got Polly to do what she needed. Really ran the tribunal because she didn't win anything. Polly bought into the tribunal. Jordan voted his way, but it really didn't even matter. It was going to go as Kara wanted it to go. So you oh. may... Go ahead, jump in. Only, only because Polly shook somebody's hand. If Polly doesn't make that first move, nothing happens. Oh, nothing easy. Nothing happens. happens. <laughs> if Polly doesn't shake Bananas' hand, I don't think Polly brings Kara in the tribunal with him. I think Polly brings in a Cam or a Ninja with him because it's someone in his alliance. Because let's say if Team US wins next week, Kara should be in that tribunal. So Kara guarantees her safety. If, you, if you're looking at it, a game long term, she can't. But it. she can't now. That was a mistake. But that's all I'm saying. I, if I they didn't so shake too. hands, that's why. If, they didn't, if Polly doesn't shake Bananas' hand, Car is on in today's tribunal, but I still think bananas might still be safe because I don't see Cam or I don't see any other female or anyone else that Paulie will pick to say bananas is in. I think I think, Cam, I think Cam and Ninja would definitely Ninja. I don't. I, I think Ninja is more like you know what I can because he's good and we because they're if you think about it everyone right now is Team US except for bananas, Paulie. Kara, and um, eh, I'll throw in Jordan because they're more so for their own game. So any one of only those four would really throw in someone from, from Team US. And anyone else, I don't really see that. I don't really see them having that big power move standpoint in them. All right, uh, let's go. Yeah. I know, I know. Everyone always disagrees with me. It's okay. It's okay. All right. So that's enough about the goat, Queen Kara, the Knight Kara. Let's go ahead and move on to the number two spot, Theo. Theo got thrown into elimination today. So being on a power ranker, that's that's a little odd. I know winning an elimination gives you a big jump, but still got thrown in. Don't you think number two is a little bit high, Tyler? No. No, not at all. He was sixth last week. Um, here's the thing. He didn't really get thrown in by his team. The alliance within his team sent him in just due to numbers. If if Theo doesn't drink Pinot Grigio, <laughs> Rogan, Rogan and him never fight. 
and he never gets thrown in. <laughs> so, like, you got to blame it on, on Pinot Grigio. I blame it on that wine and everything. But that's the only reason. This literally had nothing to do with team strategy. Theo is probably Team UK's best bet at winning a final. Them throwing him in is just purely selfish. It's just to strengthen their alliance within their team, you know? And he was even saying it. He was asking if they were mad. Apologies. Apparently, apparently the challenge gods didn't like what we were saying, and they <laughs> struck us dead during our during our call and everything. Um, essentially, let's just wrap it up on Theo and everything. Theo is Team UK's best bet at winning this money in the final. You know, it's purely selfish reasons to throw him in. He came through in, in this challenge and everything. He did he did okay in the daily challenge, but he went in and he eliminated bananas. You know, and he helped continue to um you know show the the faults of team usa and help them dissolve and everything uh, it's not over if team uk like he said can band back together i said earlier and everything they'll be just fine but, you know getting an elimination win when you're thrown in is is gold on these power rankings all right sounds good it's about time to wrap it up antonio I'd like to thank you very much for coming on the hit list spilling the beans with us it was an absolute pleasure to have you now that the, yes now that the season is pretty much <laughs> over for you what what are you gonna do now, man? What are you gonna do now? With um, well, you gonna be okay, I already man? have. I mean, I'll be all right. I mean, I, I'm gonna. I'm forced to watch the rest of the season. Do I want to? Not really. <laughs> hey, I, nice. I, I gotta help you guys out with this podcast. You know, I mean, other than that, I probably wouldn't be watching it. But you know, I do have a list of who I'm rooting for. I'm not gonna release that yet. You have to wait till next week to find that shit out. Um, but yeah. Uh, I mean, I know spoilers, so I know who wins. I'm not going to say it because, you know, someone who doesn't follow spoilers. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm, ex- I'm kind of excited to see how it plays out. But, you know, this can I is. Can I ask one thing before I wrap it up and everything? Like, like we, we have a guest speaker here and everything. And historically, everybody likes to just shit on my power rankings, which is okay. I'm good with that. Who on this list? did you just not agree with? Like, what is the one glaring flaw that is just driving you nuts? Ooh, well, I have so two. many. <laughs> no, I have, like, everyone else, like, uh, there are, uh, it's, like, a few changes. The only two drastic ones are Polly and Ninja. Polly, I would move down, and the only number one I can think of is Jordan. And Why, why would you move Polly down? Pa- what are you talking uh, about, fam? If you want my reasoning, you can listen to our podcast tomorrow. Fair enough. <laughs> okay. Um, All right. For All Ninja, right. Who else? Who else? For Ninja, uh, I just think 12 is way too high. She should double that and be 24. <laughs> because, look, she Your was, mind. Especially. No, no, no. Because, look, listen. For someone who was crying last week and acting so entitled in her second season, for going into elimination, yeah, she beat Laurel by a tech by some bullshit. I don't want to get into it. I'm gonna... <laughs> That's old news now. We can't talk yeah. about it now. <laughs> but for someone that claims she's so good at this challenge, if you're gonna do that, be good at everything. Not just oh yeah, you know I'm good at climbing shit, and that's pretty much it. Because the challenge isn't just that. The challenge. Tally, I'm mentally... tired of y'all shitting on Ninja. Ninja's the real deal. Hey, now who's talking out of turn, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I can do that. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and jump out of here. Make sure you visit shop.lovewarchallenges.com for all your hit lists, love war challenges, and general challenge gear. Um, make sure you guys follow us on Facebook, YouTube, <sighs> Facebook, <laughs> YouTube. Hey, Yo, this was guys. signed by the man too. <laughs> Gotta represent it. Come on. All right, all right fuck out of here. Thank you guys for joining us. See you guys next week. All right, one. Peace. Peace.